Hey everyone, Ani from Happy Camper here. I am super excited to show you what I've got. This Oru kayak. If you've been following us on Instagram, you know that we have a tandem inflatable kayak. Well, uh, last year, Nikki got a single uh, inflatable stand-up paddleboard and she's kind of been ditching me on the kayak route. So I've been really excited to get a new kayak. Uh, one that I don't have to blow up and one that uh, uh, I don't need Nikki on. So here's my Oru and we're gonna unbox it together. You guys excited? Because I am. Before we start unboxing, I do want to show you my new a life jacket. Uh, I'm really excited to get this because it has pockets and now I have a place for my keys and my wallet and my old one didn't have pockets. So really excited for this new life jacket. All right. Let's get going. Cut away from yourself so you don't cut yourself. First thing we have... Our paddles. One paddle. I bought one with a backpack. So one thing that I really liked about Nikki's uh, inflatable stand-up paddleboard is the backpack that it came with. Um, we were able to bring the paddleboard with us to Hawaii and that was great. So I'm really excited that this is a uh, travel size. The Oru kayak is origami style and it's only 18 pounds. So my weak ass can carry it anywhere. All right, y'all ready for this? Ta-da! We got our kayak, and I can't wait to set it up and get it out on the water. Let's go. time setting up this kayak it was a little difficult I did struggle a little bit because um, since it's a new unit uh, you do have to put a little bit of force into uh, pushing the sides out and of course because of the material and because it was the first time I was putting it together I was nervous that I might break it but I don't think you could break it uh, just make sure you put enough um, force into popping the sides out however Compared to the Tuck Tech and our inflatable kayak, I still thought that it was easier than doing that. Um, I struggled putting the Tuck Tech together as well, and some of the pieces just didn't go together uh, as easily. However, these have the buckles. Buckles are really easy. Make sure you loosen it up first because it is hard to put it in. So loosen it up, I'll fill it in, and then you tighten it. That way, it does make it easier. I have put together the kayak three times now. So the first time it took me over six minutes uh, since I was struggling and didn't want to put that a lot of force into popping the sides out. 
Um, but now I am a little more comfortable and it took me two minutes and 15 seconds. So the more you do it, the easier it gets, the more used to it you are. Um, and yeah, it'll, it'll, it'll be great. It's a great portable kayak. It's lightweight. I love that I can carry it since I struggle a lot when I carry heavy, heavy things due to a bad back, but I'm not worried about carrying this uh, in its backpack. Um, and again, really, really, really excited to take it on our next uh, trip to Hawaii. So I got this thing out on really choppy waters in uh, the Richmond Marina here in Bay Area. And I was I was nervous um, because this kayak does not have a skeg. So I was really nervous of how tracking would be. I went on the water anyway. Now that I'm back, I wanted to let you know how it went. So initially when I was out on the water, I felt pretty comfortable, wasn't worried about tipping uh, at all, and uh, felt safe. However, the second time I went out on the water, I felt like I went a little further where the water was a little more choppy. And uh, when I uh, paddled to turn around, I felt like I almost did tip. So compared to the inflatable tandem kayak that we had, uh, when we had that, uh, that kayak on choppy waters, I didn't feel uh, like we were gonna tip over at all. It was pretty sturdy. The Oru website says that this kayak is meant for calm waters, but it's uh, hard to come by here in the Bay Area. So I thought I'd, I'd uh, take it out anyway. I did have a hard time paddling through the choppy water. Uh, as you can guess, it wasn't tracking very well, especially because there's no skeg, but you can buy uh, the skeg as an accessory and it comes with instructions on how you can install it into the lake kayak itself. I'm still waiting on mine to arrive, um, but I'm excited when that happens and, and excited to test out how it tracks with it on. And I'll let you know that review in another video. I love how portable it is. Um, one of the reasons uh, I really enjoyed Nikki's stand-up paddleboard is that we, we have a really nice backpack for it and we're able to check it in on flights and take it to Hawaii. So next trip to Hawaii, I am definitely bringing the Oru kayak with me. Compared to my friend's Tuck Tech, I really like how the lake fold up better. Um, it was a lot easier to put together as an origami kayak. Um, and the backpack that it came with is a lot more durable than um, the stuff sack that Tuck Tech provides. Hope you enjoyed this review. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. Uh, we, we would really appreciate it since we're just starting out. And also follow us on Happy Capper on Instagram. See you guys.